But Sugar Mama came up to you and was like, hey, I'll pay for you to get your fucking green card. I'll pay for you to get your passport to come up here and visit me. And if you like it, I will pay for you to come live here with me in my own place. Did somebody approach you with that? No, I approached them with that. And those pussy motherfuckers couldn't handle the truth. They could not if handle you the truth. you came to me right now, shipwreck, and you said you want some hard on, some good cock, and you came out here and you said you were all about it and wanted that music, you'd be out here in the first fucking plane. No, not even that. I want some motherfucker here to shoot guns with me and end up in the sticks with me and end up being a fucking crazy motherfucker with me, being a drunk-ass motherfucker who owns a couple businesses and lives life to the fucking fullest, and uh, yeah, I might be the breadwinner, but I'll let you do your fucking shit, and you can be the breadwinner of the shit that you want to do. But that pussy motherfucker was like, oh, whoa, whoa, that's too real for me. You're not real enough for me. You're not real enough for me. I'm going to bounce. I'm going to bounce. You cowards that support the DC, I know yourselves. Uh, right? Right? I'm like, wow. Okay, motherfucker. If you don't take me for being real as me, that's fine. But you're you're totally missing out. You're completely missing out on the point here. And I don't even care. Like, I don't even care. I make really good money. I make really good money doing what I do. I'm not going to lie about it right now. I do. I used to be on the internet, addicted to opiates living on a fucking recliner in my fucking house and it was shitty and that was the time I actually ran into you because you had just like broken up with perplexed QT. You keep talking like, baby, I like it, I like hearing you. No, you broke up with perplexed QT like maybe, maybe three months lady, before I found you, you. Don't and you it. were like still, no, you were still living in an I RV at that time. I your fucking heels in the air baby. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> No, but that's seriously, great. no, seriously, like when I met, when I found Wog, I found it through Perplex QT because you had just broken up with her and you were living in an RV at the time. And I was like, this bitch is like going after this guy. You know why? Because I got She's a fat motherfucking cow me. bitch and she's way older than me and she's a cow motherfucking bitch. And I was like, wow. And then I just kind of was like, wow. But no, I kept following you after that anyways. And um, so then I was dating uh, Misery for two and a half years. Wait, listen, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I know. I was dating another internet person for two and a half years. All I can think about is all these motherfuckers that support the DC, go fuck yourself, man. <laughs> fuck off. I know. Fuck off. I need to go get more beer. Hold on. No, I need more cigarettes, actually. That's a lie. I'm lying. Yeah. Is this a 